Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much because of your always great support. I'm so much humbled. Again, please ensure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what is this that Moses Kuria is going to declare on the 20th of August? 2024 at 10 a.m. What is this? As Moses Kuria is claiming, say this, I will be issuing a major announcement that will change the political future and landscape of Kenya on 20th August 2024 at 10 a.m. Until then, I will not issue a political position or opinion on any issue. This comes after Moses Kuria had an interview at Citizen TV where the host was Sam Gituku. And so when he was asked about regarding Gashagwa's opinion uh, towards the Limur 3 conference, Moses Kuria was so furious and in fact, he told Sam Gituku that it was not right for a leader who is going to have a meeting with his fellow leaders or together with their community that you must meet someone somewhere in a certain office so that he can verify the meeting favoring him or not. Secondly, Moses Kuria was asked about the finance bill of this year 2024. And so he even commented towards the Rigadiga Shagwa's statement on one man, one vote, one shilling. So Moses Kuria came out saying this. Your question, what is your issue? I'm asking you because the deputy president is quoted saying that if there are issues, let Martha Karua, let Jeremiah Kioni come and talk to him because there's an office of the deputy president. Is that a good path to follow? You know, I don't know why you're asking me about my boss because he's my boss. But because you have asked and I'm never one to, to hide, I don't agree with him. Because we were elected by the people to solve their issues. Mm -hmm. If Mother Karawa calls me to her house today, I'll go. Or Jeremiah Kioni, with respect, you know. They don't have to come to me. And solutions of this problem, of this country, they have got no forwarding address. As if you find a problem, Peleke Anani. Okay, we, we need all of us. You can't tell me that you find the problem, come and see me. Who are you? You don't agree with that? I don't. Do you believe in one man, one shilling? I do, vote? but I do believe one more thing. Yeah. As a minister, as a deputy president, as Kimani Shungwa, as Kimani Kuria, as Dede Nyoro, people from the mountain, one, we have the power now. What are we going to ask Kwanjiko to do? Who do at to not take one man who will vote? Now we are going to ask to solve those issues. Who are we telling to solve those issues? I think it's hypocritical. Okay. Who is sponsoring Limolo 3? There are people who are so, uh, sponsoring it. Now, How much in the last 24 hours, I know. I know somebody who has put 10 million on it. And I want to tell people who are attending the Murudri, please don't go home hungry. Pesaiko. So, Kenyans, what is this that Moses Kuria is planning to do? Remember earlier on, when Moses Kuria was transferred from the Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry to the Ministry of Now Public Service, Moses Kuria posted the photo of regarding a shagwa as the claims were that regarding a shagwa was blaming, not regarding a shagwa, Moses Kuria was blaming regarding a shagwa as a man that was interfering with his leadership in this Kenya Kwanzaa as the CS. And so him being transferred from the Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry to the Ministry of a public service, Moses Kuria was not happy. Secondly, we saw Moses Kuria posting his party, Usawa, uh, is it called Chama Chakazi, if I'm not wrong? Because Usawa quoted this for Mwangi Wairia. 
and uh, this uh, chama cha kazi is for Moses Kuria but remember earlier on when Moses Kuria was appointed to be the CS in this Kenya Kwanza regime he even tried to uh, negate that uh, he was going to fold his chama cha kazi party and even news came in that Moses Kuria had folded his political party to join UDA because after there was a certain narrative that came in that William Ruto was busy requesting these affiliate parties to join the UDA so that they can have a bigger party called UDA. But now then, when he tried to say that he folded this Chama Chakazi, I don't know what happened. Is this now the scenario that might happen the 20th of August 2024 at 10 a.m.? Because something that I, I, I want to understand here is Moses Kuria going to revamp his party? That is number one. Number two is Moses Kuria going to resign? Because obvious, most of the time Moses Kuria is opposing the current boss, William Ruto. And regarding Shagwa, maybe uh, Moses Kuria, like the other time, he declared he declared that he was going to resign to go for the to go for the candidate of the member of parliament of Gatundu South, where he was the member of parliament. And all the way, I've tried to understand the Moses Kuria's the political momentum. Remember one thing? This is a man that is not being threatened by anything. In this Kenya concept. He's a man that always says it the way it is. Blue and black. He usually don't tolerate or uh, go around the bush. He usually hit it direct to the head. And so when he's coming out to say this, then... Uh, I know maybe his major announcement that will change the political future and land, landscape is going back to the Gatundu. Is it Gatundu South or Gatundu North? Please, someone to correct me. Someone to correct me. Because again, for him to resign, for him to resign, is he going to, to the presidential candidate? Is he going for the presidential candidate? Remember earlier on again, there was a statement that came from Moses Kuri saying that no one was going to interfere with the Limuru 3 conference. Because that person who is interfering with the Limuru 3 conference is a man that understands that they don't want him or Gadi Gashago to leave the mountain. Another thing is, is Moses Kuria going to exit the Kenya Kwanzaa government and immediately his exit is going to uh, criticize the William Ruto's government by rallying the Mount Kenya together. And let me tell you one thing. It is only two men that will completely bring William Ruto down in the mountain. And that is why William Ruto is so terrified even uh, sucking them. That is Moses Kuria and Rigari Gashago. That day that Rigari Gashago will decide that now it is my time to get out and prepare myself, take it to the nearest bank. Rigari Gashago will say all things. Because remember one thing, Rigari Gashago's type of politics is almost the same the politics that Moses Kuria always portray. You know, so the likeliness there is maybe Moses Kuria is planning to exit and resign as a CS of this Kenya Kwanzaa regime because he has realized that nothing is happening here. Nothing is happening. And so he is coming out maybe to prepare the way for the mountain to have their stand. Uh, but it is something that we are not... Uh, sure about this 
But the question again, has Moses Kuria misplaced his attitude of self-importance in this Kenya Kwanza government? Because some are saying he is nothing in Kiambu and he must leave, let alone Kiambu, he must leave Kenya alone. Eh? He fall, or rather his fall happened in the last general election when he was incapable of getting the gubernatorial seat of Kiambu. And so we are being told that Zakayo William Ruto helped him and he was a loser. And so whatever he's trying to do is just to <laughs> give him momentum as if someone who is so relevant in the politics of the Republic of Kenya. Some are also, some are also giving Moses Kuria an idea that just resign and leave. The good thing is Kikuyu is that when one group leaves the government, another one joins to it. What matters is which group joins to it at what time. That is what someone is saying. When a group of Mount Kenya region is going to leave the government of the day, another group is going to join the government, but not to deliver what the government promised the Mount Kenya, but their main aim there is that to eat. And this group is a group that you don't know. And in a specific time, we'll have this group that will be enjoying the government of the day they never elected. So we're just waiting how things are going to be and waiting that day, the 20th of August, um, 2024, at 10 a.m. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.